Yo, what's up dudes? I've got a cool lesson today of um, my top tips and tricks on buying boosters on eBay. Now, eBay is a fucking minefield for Pokemon boosters as they are very frequently weighed or searched. If you don't know that, what those two terms mean, um, I suggest looking elsewhere because I ain't got time to go into it on this video, but it's very, very common on eBay. So before you even look at boosters on eBay, look into those two things, weighing and searching booster packs. So how to avoid this? It's really difficult because there's no surefire way, fire way to know. I've got some tips and tricks that have worked for me in the past. Obviously it's not foolproof, I've bought weighed stuff before, um, but usually you can get your, your money back. eBay is pretty good buyer protection wise. So let's get straight into it. This is um, the boosters that I've bought, um, and I've got. I'm going to open them in front of you today, so we're going to test it out first hand. You're going to see it happen. I'm, <laughs> this might fall on its arse, but the tips remain the same. So here we go. This is what I got. It's really random. It's from Germany, actually. Um, so let me just go straight into it. The first thing I check, obviously, is feedback. Looks good so far on this one. 100%. Let's click on it though, because when they've got such a massive amount of feedback, it can be negatives. Um, sometimes you'll get people saying definitely weighed, don't trust them, or if, even if, if there's any signs that they're untrustworthy, I just wouldn't bother, just don't bother, it's not worth the risk. If it's stuff like, oh, slow delivery, or obviously some just some dickhead who wasn't happy, who was impossible to please, then fair enough, but if it's stuff to do with the reliability of the seller, just don't touch them with a barge pole. Also, if you've got time, I do this occasionally, it does actually turn out to be quite a good idea sometimes. I actually check their good feedback, so if you um, if you go on Control F or Apple F, um, <clears throat> so find particular key terms like Wade, and go through a few pages, and sometimes you see people leave good feedback, but they say things like, oh, they could be Wade because I didn't pull any hollows. But sometimes they don't feel like they can leave bad feedback because it might just be pure coincidence. There's no way that they can prove it was weighed. So that's another good trick. Sometimes I've seen that and I've just thought, no, I'm not even going to bother. Not worth the risk. So feedback, good or bad, always check it. Always double check it. That's your first port of call. The next thing is a bit more detective work, really. So you've got to kind of suss out what the seller's aims and objectives are, what, what their game is, why they're selling these what kind of stuff they've been selling and you've got to get inside their head a little bit so on this one for example their account name is toys figures and more oh i always look at what they've got for sale and what they've sold in the past so if you look at this they've got pins comic books it doesn't seem like boosters are a massive thing for them playmobile fucking my little pony stuff dolls so you start thinking would they really be weighing booster packs it doesn't seem that, like that kind of guy really to me straight off the bat I'm not going to check sold listings on this occasion because I mean, you get the idea they don't seem like they'd have motivation to weigh or even know about weighing packs and um, it's a German seller this one in particular let me just go back to the listing I just you just get the kind of idea of whether they'd be the type of person to weigh them or not another good way to tell is if they're selling the packs individually this is usually the case with high value stuff you know like your base packs and stuff if someone's selling one booster pack, I would avoid it, generally, because they could easily weigh it and you could open it and you have no way of knowing whether it's weighed, because it could very well just not have a hollow, he could have never weighed it in his life. Um, so that's another That's another little tip that I use, I try and buy. It's just a case of sussing out why this guy is selling his stuff. I mean, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. And you're never going to know for certain, but if you follow these tips, you can pull some awesome stuff. I've pulled some amazing stuff. First edition, hollows that I've gone on to get PSA 10s, all from eBay. I've never bought boosters anywhere else. So there you go, those are my tips. So let's check it out in person. Let's just move this out of the way, because what I've got to do is, it is the booster packs in question. Came from overseas, came really quickly actually pretty cool i'm excited about this set because it's got the um charmander charizard etc reprints in hollow awesome secret rares and also the shining cards the sh reverse foils which even if they were weighed i could still get them because they're in the re reverse foil slot i'm excited about this let's go right i'm gonna start off with my least favorite art <clears throat> so here we go i'm really excited 
What do you reckon, guys? Do you reckon my advice is enough for these not to be weighed? Let's find out what the card trick is as well. Bloody hell, these are a bit stubborn. Ooh, right. Alright, I'm going to go for the classic three from the back. To start with. Okay, looks promising. It's an uncommon. Be barrel. Shitty energy. Energy switch. Awesome claymation scroopy there. Wicked. Oh man, art has just deteriorated over the years. <laughs> Even these look good in relation to recent sets. Really not a fan of Sun and Moon. Ghastly. Stunky. I guess this is our reverse. Nope. <laughs> Magnemite. This is our reverse. A ghastly again. Pretty boring. And our rare is a Gengar. Pretty boring so far. Not a good start, but it doesn't say anything about whether they're weighed or not. Let's go for this one. Dusclops. I'm hoping if I get something secret rare, or even just like... What are, they, are they level X in Diamond and Pearl? I think they are. If they're one of them, and they're pretty cool, and they look like a PSA 10 to me. Straight away, going straight to PSA. One, two, three. Come on, man. I want to prove my theory right. Come on. It's worked in the past. If it doesn't work for this video, I'm going to be pissed. Come on. Focus. Focus. There we go. Pupitar. Magneton. Awesome. Machoke. Claymation again. Wicked. I wish they still did. Do they still do Claymation? I don't know, man. I remember that stupid poly <laughs> in um, Sun and Moon, which looks ridiculous. What's that? Like, knitted... What is the, there's no term for that. Knitted mation sounds fucking stupid to me. Pikachu, pretty cool art. Another Duskull. Ponytail, looking pretty cool. Magnemite. <clears throat> Magnemite again? Bloody hell, there's a lot of Magnemites in this, isn't there? And our reverse is... Ooh, that's pretty cool. Is that rare? That is a rare, dude. That is awesome. I love that card. Nice. So, our rare is... A Magnazone. Oh, it's not going well so far. Fuck me. Imagine if he's weighed them now after all this, all this me chatting shit about how good my methods are. Fuck me. Right, so. Torterra, bringing the goods. You're the one I cho chose on the DS game. I remember it well. I always tend to choose the grass park one, though. I don't know why. Let's go. So, three from back again. Come on, I need something good, man. Spent 20 quid on these. Not much, really, considering they would have been 350 new, wouldn't they? Back in the day. It's not really much increase in value there. Another Magneto? Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with these packs? Far well, fetched. Magnemite? Fuck it, how many cards are actually in these sets? What is going on? How weird. Right, okay. <laughs> Voltorb. I'm seeing the theme here. Starly. Switch. Reverse is Tangela. Pretty fucking boring again. And Gary Doss. Regular rat. Fuck. Oh my god. This is falling on its arse majorly. <laughs> this video might have to be scrapped. Come on. Reggie Gigas. Come up with the goods. Come on. Save our best art till last. Right. This is going to have. Trust me. It's going to have a shiny card in. In the reverse. And then we're going to have the Charizard Secret Rare. Trust. Trust me, daddy. Fuck. Right. Three from the back. Come on, lads. Come on. Fingers crossed everyone can do this. Whoa. Cool art. Bud you. More claymation. God, the designers had a good time on this one. They just play with fucking Play-Doh for their entire work week. Poke healer. The barrel again. Snova. Another Voltorb. Another Ghastly. Cherubi. Bidoof. Reverse is a drift. I got excited then. I swear there's a shining version of this in um in the in the sh uh, you know what I'm talking about. Fuck! I can't even talk. Right. Moment of truth is Fuck! Oh well, at least it's a Reggie Gigas. I can't believe it. Oh no, it's a hollow! Yes! Fuck yes, dudes! I've proved the theory right. It's a hollow. Yes, and it's a pretty fucking cool one at that. 
So nothing, nothing amazing. I mean, we didn't get any of our shinings or secret rares or anything, but that is a cool hollow, man. Is it gradable? Absolutely not. <laughs> Fuck. Oh well, I think I kind of proved this right though. It doesn't seem like they're way. This is a cool hollow though, man. Just when I thought this video died on its ass. So there you go, guys. And there's my top tips. Let's go through the polls. Right, I've just finished filming and I've realised how much of a dickhead I've been. This Magnazone I pulled is actually a hollow. The hollows are really subtle on this set. I almost didn't notice with the Reggie Gigas either. That is awesome, man. So definitely proved right, this theory. Two out of four packs, we've had a good pull. I'm pretty impressed with that. So let's go through the pulls overall. We've got Magnemite. <laughs> Magnemite. 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 Magneton. Yeah, boy, a Magnazone. A secret pull that nobody noticed. Well, probably everyone other than me. Awesome card. Pretty cool art. Got the Luminion. Is that how you pronounce it? Reverse Hollow. Pretty cool. That was a rare. And then, yeah, boy, Regigigas. 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 Or something, which I've already put in a top loader. So, yeah, really happy with that overall. Uh, it showed my theory to be quite effective, really, to be honest. It's never going to be foolproof. It's definitely some good tips to go by there, if you ask me. It's worked for me in the past, anyway. So, yeah, good luck, dudes, and uh, happy hunting. Peace out.